But now we're safe from the monsters. Our kind governor made this very fortress to protect us from the evil, bloodthirsty enemies. Miss Jambi. Yes? Do, do the evil NVI eat little girls like me? They did. They would eat any human they saw. <laughs> so, they just want to eat us up for dinner? Yes, but they can't eat you up when you're safe inside the fortress. That's why we all must be good and do as our governor says. He is very kind to us and wants to keep everyone safe. Well, your parents should be here fairly soon. Off you go, children! Well, what another good day, Miss Jambi. I'm rather impressed. You flatter me. I think it was fairly decent. But I'm not sure why we have to tell the children such harsh things. They're kids. So they don't disobey the rules. I don't particularly agree with it either, but whatever. Hello, are you Miss Jambi's supervisor? Yes, what seems to be the problem? My son has been having nightmares the past week. And when I asked him why, he said it was because of the stories Miss Jambi's told. Are you aware of what she's teaching? Yes, that's what the governor wants us to teach the children. If you have a problem with the curriculum, you'll have to bring that up with him. We have no control over it. What? So leave. Miss Hurridge, I... I've been thinking over this for a while, and I'm not so sure if I want to continue being a teacher. I don't like the curriculum, and I'm thinking of maybe going into the medical field. Because Miss Barron works as a nurse, right? Well, I want to spend more time with my best friend, yes, and it just seems really cool. I feel like I'll be helping more that way. Teaching is a noble job, but it's entirely up to you. Thank you so much for understanding, Miss Hurridge. Have fun out there, Miss Jambi. Hey! How was work, I you know? I quit! You what? I want to work in the medical field like you do. It's not as simple as that, love. I know, but that job was crushing my soul. Mm, I see. But don't you think it's a little irresponsible to quit work without any sort of plan? Mr. Jammy is going to be furious. My dad can just calm down. It's my life, not his. Besides, he has enough money to support both of us. Well, I'm not defending you if he screams at you. Fair, fair. Isabel, we were looking all over for you. S sorry You know damn well that after work we need you back here to care for your little mm. brother. I'm aware. I was on my way back to our room. Work just ran a little late. And in case you forgot, I provide the money for this family. In case you forgot, I'm your father. You owe me some respect. And in case you forgot, you aren't my father. Uh, I'm gonna go. I a ho! <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. My ass. I heard you left your job today. Everyone's talking about it. I know, but... Are you an idiot? Quitting without a plan? I've taught you better than that! I know, but I really needed a change of pace. You've got to understand, Father. Oh, you're really like your mother. Have I told you that? <laughs> she never had a plan, but somehow just made her more charming. <laughs> we were total opposites, but I loved her so much. I wish I had gotten to meet her. What I'm trying to say is, I'm sorry for flipping out on you. And sometimes having no plan? And running on hope is the best plan of all. 
What the bloody hell are you doing here? Well, I couldn't sleep, so... Wanna go on a walk? We're beyond dead if any of the gods catch us. And that's what makes it fun. The adrenaline. Now let's go, sister. So, I noticed you getting cozy with that other nurse a few days ago. Ugh, not this again. Just because I'm attracted to women doesn't mean I find every single woman attractive, I know. Oh, calm down. I was joking. So, how long do you think it will take me to get into the medical field? Only seven years if you're lucky. But most girls have to do nine because the men in charge suck ass. Ugh. It's open. In all my 19 years of living in this fortress, I've never seen that door open. This has to be a sign to go in. Are you insane? I'm going in. Huh? You idiot! Think this through. You're gonna get us in so much trouble. Izzy, this is so cool! Can we just go? Oh, come on! Why don't we go through that door over there? It'll be fun, don't worry! Uh, you know, uh... See? Let's just go. But now I'm curious! Listen, let's just see what's behind here. How even would we? The door is locked. So there has to be a key. Sometimes in the books I read, people hide keys behind bricks. I'm sure the key has to be behind one of these. Well, we have to try it! Wow, this map is... it's amazing. Whoa, yeah it is. The whole fortress is here. And some of the places around it? Why do they need this anyways? Hmm. Maybe they made it when they designed the fortress. What about that door? Uh, you open it. I'm sure as hell not gonna. Uh, uh, Izzy! Uh, no way. An exit. The outside. Isabel, we can leave here! What? Are you mad? Maybe so. But you know just as well as I do that there's nothing here for you and I. We could explore, learn about the Unveii. Hmm. Get revenge on them? Exactly. Wait. But what about your father? And what about my little brother? What about them? My dad doesn't need me, and your parents can look after your brother. This is our only chance to escape this place. If we don't take this chance, we'll spend the rest of our days never having gotten the chance to go outside. This is the opportunity we have been looking for. We have to! But we can't go now. We need a plan. And we need food, clothes, we just... We just can't go into the unknown on a whim. Fine. We leave tomorrow. We'll take this key pack with us, along with the office key on the desk downstairs. We'll pack and then leave in the night. They'll notice the keys are missing quickly, so we'll have to hurry. I... Okay. If that's what you want to do. I'm coming with you. I can't lose you. Are you ready to say goodbye? Ready as I'll ever be, I guess. But I know. Hmm? What, what if they kill us? The Unveii? 
Yeah. Then we pull them down with us. Now let's go. Hmm. Let's go. That's my girl. 